I think Cal can, can succeed here because he's right. You know, he he's he can recruit. He can get the his the coaching staff that he's got, and it's all about recruiting. And, and, and you know, then you can get coaching, uh, and he's a good coach. The championship coach on the incoming championship coach coming to the Hill. Welcome in Alyssa Orange with you as we continue to dive in to the hiring of John Calipari from Kentucky to Arkansas. This news first reported by Fox 16's Westmore and Little Rock. And what does this hire look like? Well, our Kevin McPherson and ESPN's Pete Thamel reporting that they're working on a five-year deal worth $40 million. That's $8 million annually. McPherson is also reporting that the NIL budget will be between five and six million a big way to make the hogs competitive in that new landscape of college athletics right there and those asking why the move well look at it this way with cal at kentucky to me it's a refresh for him after not making it out of the first round or weekend of the tournament the past couple of years losing to oakland this past one you know this is something that both parties look like they needed courtney mims and mike Irwin joining me and guys i'd love to get your thoughts on the hire mike you know, I agree with you. I think everybody will see a different Cal at Arkansas, more like the Cal when he first got to Kentucky. That job wore on him. He said so. There will be much less pressure on him here. He can have fun again. But the main thing is the program is down to no scholarship athletes. A complete rebuild is needed, and they could not have hired a better coach for that job. Yeah, I completely agree with Mike there. There is no doubt that this is a home run hire for the Hogs. I don't think anybody thought they were going to get a coach of this caliber. I mean, basketball Hall of Famer, three-time coach of the year. He is a legend. Players love him. Other coaches have nothing but great things to say about him. I have no doubt he will re rebuild that roster, Mike, like you were talking about. There's also so much energy in the fan base right now. He has rejuvenated yeah. what was kind of people going, man, Musselman's gone, no roster left. What is going to happen? John Calipari happened. Yeah, and man. He's going to have to check. swoop in, and like you said, he's got his work cut out for him early because he's got some work to do with putting together a completely brand new team. Earlier today, Trevin Brazil announcing he is hiring an agent, headed to the NBA draft, leaving no scholarship players on the roster for Arkansas. Jalen Shelley and Isaiah, or Isaiah Elohim, the two incoming freshmen, asked for a release from their national letters of intent. So. Look, we expect Cal to bring some players with him. That's not a surprise. Maybe they are already at Kentucky, like 7-1 big man Aaron Bradshaw, who did announce that he's in the transfer portal today. He could bring in some of that top uh, second-ranked class as well. So there is work to be done. Cal's the guy to get it done, and there are people in the industry who believe he can do it. Yeah, one of those people, Jimmy Dykes. We got a <laughs> chance to talk with him today, and this is a guy with so much experience in the college basketball world that it was great to get his thoughts on the hire, mm -hmm. and he knows John Calipari very well. When uh, Rob Lanier was fired at SMU, no one thought this would end up with John Calipari come to Arkansas. Jimmy Dykes is right, but here we are, and a lot of people are wondering why. Well, Dykes says he thinks Kentucky and Cal were ready for a change. They had a great first 10 years with Cal. The last five have not been to Kentucky standards, and Cal will be the first to tell you that. Uh, but they didn't have to pay the $33 million buyout. Another reason, his respect for Arkansas. But every time I've been around Cal and the Arkansas Razorbacks have come up, first thing he says is, man, their fan base is ridiculously passionate about their team. So he knows what he's getting when he comes here. Everyone knows who Calipari is on the court, but off of it, Dyke says he's a coach that really cares about the community, giving back when he can. He gets the big picture as well as any college basketball coach in the country. And, and if you're the head coach at Kentucky or Arkansas, it's a big picture view you have to have. You can't just lock yourself in your office and watch film. Calipari is going to have his work cut out for him here at Arkansas as he is a blank slate for the roster. But Dyke said not to worry about that. He's going to bring in players. The talent level at Arkansas is going to immediately be flipped. Yeah, you know, Courtney, this is a guy that I think Arkansas fans had to switch that mindset of like, you hate John Calipari, now you gotta love John Calipari, but I don't think it will take them very long to do so. Now we are still waiting on the official announcement from the university and to find out when an introductory press conference will happen. But as of right now, guys, like we are talking, it is a new era of Arkansas men's basketball. Buckle up, Mike, you excited? I like him, he's a nice guy. I know too many people that have had contact with him, 
really friendly, nice guy. Yeah, really looking forward to the first time that we get to talk to him. That is going to do it for your Pig Trail Nation report. Your news at 6 starts now.